Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. It's a sad time today. For Valentine's Day? And these. Oh, you mean for Mother's Day? Flowers. Did but you make this up there? Flowers. 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 This is so beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. It's still wet. That's what I told you. Yeah. Put it down here. Welcome to the vlog. Hello. Hey guys, two weeks from today. I'll be going to Michigan. I'm so excited. Uh, trying to at least tidy up a little bit. I mean, just trying. It is a wreck down here. Out of her journey. It's just this table, it just stays cluttered. The only clean spot is like where I hoop shirts. And I haven't been using the hoop master because it's out there on the table. And um, I need some place in here. Like if I were, I'd have to go out there, hoop sure, come back in here, you know. But I do like it. I do recommend it. Um, especially if you have space, you know, enough space. But if you're like me and you're in a cramped little area, <laughs> spaced over a couple of rooms, you know. I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful I have the area I do have. Because I know some people don't. Believe me, I worked for my kitchen table for years. Anyway, um, so we went to occupational therapy. That went well. Uh, Journey made me the cute little thing for Mother's Day, which is Sunday. So there is an Alice Cooper. Just threw, <laughs> almost threw Jack Skellington's head away. I thought it was a piece of popcorn. So she's like, hey bro, can you fix it? And like, my magic, abracadabra. No. Um, there is an Alice Cooper concert Sunday. Uh, and I kind of want to go. It's, I'm not, I'm not a huge Alice Cooper fan, but I know a couple of his songs. <laughs> But I hear that he puts on like a big, you know, theatrical kind of show with a lot of oohs and ahs and booms and, you know. So, and let's face it, he's pretty old. He won't be doing it much longer. <laughs> so, I thought, you know, my husband had wanted to go. And then when I mentioned something about it, he was like, no. But I asked earlier, I was like, if, if you guys go to Papa's, you know, could me and Dad go see it? And she was like, yeah. she was like, I'll stay here with Journey and watch her. Um, <clears throat> I would be fine with that. But I don't know how my husband would feel. You know what I mean? He's, I think I have more, um, less insecurities about, you know, I still have insecurities about babysitters and stuff like that, but I think I have less because I, you know, just cleaning up. Um, I had sitters for Nathan and Evan growing, you know, when they were growing up, um, I had, you know, I had different babysitters for him, for them. My friend Heather watched them a lot. Um, I had one babysitter. Gosh, what was her name? I want to say her name was, was it Rebecca? 
It was like the very, I remember it was the very first babysitter I had for Nathan and he was probably, he was probably like six months old or something like that. Um, but my grandma wanted to go play bingo and she wanted me to go play bingo with her. And so I hired a, you know, I had a babysitter and I mean, it was fine. She was, I mean, she was a perfect babysitter as far as I could tell, you know, um, and, but I remember because after we were gone from like seven to 10, from 7 PM to like 10 PM. And so when I come home, she's like, oh, he's fine, blah, blah, blah. And he was sleeping and, you know, and then she left and there was like two or three like diapers in the trash. And, um, I told her. Well, my grandma I was like that's how you know she was a good babysitter because you know she changed his diaper that many times <laughs> even though I felt like she was wasting diapers but I was like you know she was making sure he was clean uh, anyway um but yeah I think it would be really good for me and my husband just us and that's another thing because I was talking to him he has I'm not talking bad about my husband but he has a lot of anxiety issues okay and he doesn't like to leave the girls and um last year when we went to michigan i was gonna go dancing with my sisters and we're gonna go out and i was like you know we should go and he didn't want to leave he's like who's gonna watch journey there's nobody there's you know we could we could work out a way there's there was people you know and you know Charlie's plenty, plenty old enough she's 16 although she does you know we won't get into all that but um so last year I wanted him to go, but he didn't, there was nobody. He was like, there's nobody to watch her. So he didn't go. Um, and plus we didn't really dance anyway because they had a band and we didn't know any of the songs that the band was playing. So it wasn't a good night. And then I think that was on a Friday night. And I think Fridays they have live bands. So we should have went on a Saturday, but we're, you know, leaving on Saturday. So, um, this this time we're gonna do it on so we come in we get there Friday morning sometime afternoon and so Saturday the following day is when I think we're gonna go out and do it on Saturday and I was like will you go we go we go he was like what about Jen there's no one to watch her blah 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 I was like Strelly can watch her and I was like in Emily can help Emily is Strelly's cousin Emily is a year older than Sterling, I think. I think she's 17. Anyway, um, I was like, they both, you know, can watch her. They'll be fine. And he was like, oh, I don't know, maybe. Um, so he might, but then again, knowing him, I know he's going to probably back out of it, but <laughs> like, <clears throat> I told him he needs to hang up his, da his dad hat for a while <laughs> and not be dad and be Sterling. So, anyway, there's just all kinds of, oh, this is a piece I had cut, and I probably wondered where it went, me and my senileness. I do need to make the other one of these and get a picture taken for the customer, um, but I was waiting for shirts to arrive. They're supposed to come in today, um, but they took a vacation somewhere in Virginia. They went to Virginia, and then, I don't know, mail's crazy, so... And it sucks because I have somebody that did a rush order, um, and it's supposed to go out tomorrow. And I don't have the shirt to make it on, so. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I do have a ruffle, so I'm going to message them and ask them if a ruffle shirt would be okay. So I can make it on a ruffle shirt and send that. And, yeah. Anyway. Get busy. Got Zumba later. Guys, my machine's running, so I'm going to have one of these.
There's a, a glass ball right here, and in order to open it, you've got to break the seal and push it down. So you use this. So you use this and you put it right here. Ooh, don't splash. cars here. We're at Zumba. <coughs> I think I got um, two, four, six, seven orders done. That was a workout. It was hot in there, but we're all. Ooh! I'm not going this. I look hot. <laughs> I was just outside feed the animals. Um, so, what am I gonna do? We're gonna do broil. Um, I am making, I made a roast, and I used my au jus sauce. And I put, um, let me see if I can switch it up here. There we go. So I'm making um, French dip sandwiches, but I'm doing it. it. Just scared me. What is this? What is this? An avocado. Okay. I thought it was some kind of mango. It's very soft. You better, it's Evans. You better do something with that. Um, anyway. Um, I made the roast and I put the au jus sauce in it and then I um come take your B12 um um I put some banana peppers and the juice in there and then I mixed it with the beef um, broth like I normally do because that's what I normally make French dip sandwiches out of and then instead of adding the onion soup packet I didn't add that I just went with the banana peppers the juice and the broth and then the au jus sauce so I'm going to take it out I'm going to shred the meat and then I'm going to put it on Put it 
on some French bread. I'm going to toast this. I'm going to open it up, toast it, and then put some um, provolone cheese. And then I'm going to take some more banana peppers that are fresh and put it on top and then cut them up. And then we'll dip them in the, um, the sauce, the, the juice that's left over from the roast. I'll let you know how it is. It's kind of like a Mississippi kind of French dip sandwich, I guess. Hi guys. So dinner was delicious. It was much, it was, it was, it was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was kind of, kind of like, I won't say skeptical, but, um, so I make French dip sandwiches like I explained before, but this time I did it with the au jus sauce and the banana peppers and then, um, toasted the bread I shredded the meat with mixer mix mixer and I had a little bit of banana peppers like mixed in there so it kind of shredded it too put it on the thing that put provolone cheese which I realized that I didn't like the cheese but Evan and my husband loved it so um, and then I just dipped it in the sauce and oh my gosh or juice or whatever it was so good um, anyway I'm going to get to work but I did have this comment and I was going to respond to it, but um, I just thought I'd talk about it, because why not? Anyway, um, it was on the Billy Idol concert, and they just want to know, um, not no, but maybe we should have got a babysitter um, instead of like a date night without bringing Journey. So first of all, we don't have a lot of babysitter options. Um, of course, there's Nathan and Cora, but they live in a different city than us um, and it would it would be be a big hassle and plus they both have jobs and lives and you know what I mean they're busy um, Evan has a job and life and he's always busy he, he was actually working that night um, and so the only other two like options actually there's a couple more but it's like um, so there's Papa and Uncle Brian so um, Uncle Brian just doesn't feel comfortable enough with like just watching Journey by herself and Sterling Wan was going with her friend to Billy Idol so um, and then there's Papa Papa again is not I mean he probably could watch Journey by himself but Journey is a handful I don't I, I, you, I don't show it a lot in the vlogs um, but if you know you know, I mean Danny can even tell you like Journey is a, just a whirlwind in Papa's 80 what 87 did he turn 87 or 86 so that would be a lot for him to watch her by himself now it's fine if Sterling goes with with her down to Papa's house because and and then Sterling has anxiety issues and she has always had her anxiety issues and that's why she was homeschooled that's why she's 16 years old and not driving yet that's why she's you know the way she is we're working through it you know it's it's a process but we'll get there um so yeah so um those are our really only options for babysitter but journey loves music she loves all the 80s she loves um she will belt out every now and then an 80s lyric or a song um she likes billy idol she you know she likes going to concerts and if we say, um, so let's backtrack to when we went to the punk embroidery, not embroidery, why do I always say that? Punk flea market that was in town. So when we went to that punk flea market, we weren't going to tell Starly we were just going to go. Um, but her friend Marley was going to come and we were going to, you know, take them both. So we ended up, um, having to tell her. So, cause I was trying to get in touch with, uh, Marley's mom and I was talking to her by a text and she wasn't answering my chat text so I wasn't sure if she was you know so anyway she got in touch with Marley and but when Journey found out we were going there she thought it was a concert so she was like where's my rock and roll shirts <laughs> and it's like she was like ready and so she, I think she, what does she wear a queen shirt or something to it but I had to tell her that it's not a con she was like where's my headphones like she was all like geek to go like she thought it was a concert so journey actually really enjoys going to concerts like journey um although she is autistic she likes people she likes 
being around people. Crowds don't bother her. Um, I know some autistic children do not. There's, it just depends. Like, cause I watch a lot of different people with autistic children and it's weird how some of them like certain things and some of them despise certain things. Like I was watching father, fathering autism, I think, and they were talking about how, you know, their little, their daughter, whatever, like she loved the vacuum whereas some other autistic children do not they absolutely hated it and journey used to hate the vacuum um and sirens she didn't like sirens the uh, fireworks um anything like that anything a lawnmower now she loves absolutely loves the lawnmower she loves to ride and she was they were cutting grass tonight and she just loves to ride on lawnmower she loves it um so you know it's just different things and I, you know, I have no issue with her if she wants to go to any concert. We have to pay full price for her. She's been to probably more concerts than I can count. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six concerts, I think. I think. I'll have to look back on vlogs. I know her very first one was Monsters on the Mountain, though. Mm, that was like a bunch of bands together. And so, and of course, we're not going to leave her for, because that was in Tennessee, so we had, actually had to go there. Um, but yeah, she did really good during that concert. She played on her phone, had her headphones on. And when you put those headphones on, like, you barely hear anything. Um, they're 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 good i mean you can kind of still hear a little bit of the music but it's like very like if you put them on and somebody talks to you it's like you can bear like i'm like what um anyway so but yeah um you know it would have been nice to have a date night but at the get you know it doesn't bother us one bit um we love to be each around each other and with each other and um and that's what i was talking about earlier in this vlog about how um in Michigan I hope to have uh, their cousin Emily and Sterling watch Journey while well, I me and my husband go out with my sisters and whoever else co goes out with us probably Aunt T and um, I don't know who else will go out maybe my mom would go out with us too but um, um, yeah I'm just hoping that you know it all works out in our favor and you know we can have an evening we can take off our mom and dad hats and put on her Pam and Sterling's. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why you never see us out on dates. Unless, you know, like, um, the last time we went out alone together was the day I got my nails done the first time and they were nasty. <laughs> um, and that was to go Easter shopping. And then the time before that was when we went Christmas shopping. So we really don't get a lot of alone time. Um, Usually, our alone time is when everybody's asleep and we, you know, <laughs> that sounds bad, but you know what I mean. We have the opportunity to talk and, like, you know, just be alone and, you know, no little ears listening to us talk or, you know. Anyway, I am going to finish embroidering what's on this. I'm going to put another one out there. I'm going to put another one on the... Bravo and then I do have to make the other one of these um, I sent this to the customer and showed her a picture and she said wonderful she'd love to order them um, but I'm I might just she bought hair bows and an outfit already I might just throw them in for free I don't know yet um, just use them as my sample pictures or maybe I'll just charge her like 10 bucks um, I think everyone is around the like $12.99 to $15.99 range for these. At least that's what I saw on Am guess Amazon, Etsy. Oh, and I did have some questions when I went to Zumba. Yeah. Anyway, let's get busy.
Hey guys, so it is 12, 17 after midnight. I'm headed to bed, another late night. I need to stop doing this, but I'm trying to get all these orders done. So I finished 10, two ribbon trim sets, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shirts, but one goes with a tutu that, um, uh, it's a size 5 and the only I have 3 4 tees and one 12 to 18 months so I don't know where I got messed up but I'm sure I have orders for the 4 tees I know I have orders for the 4 tees but um, I must have miscounted and not made a five, an extra 5 tee so I do need to get that made tomorrow um yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. And I will see you guys tomorrow. We got a tour of an ABA um, clinic tomorrow. So, clinic, facility. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, that's early too. So, I need to get some sleep. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.